Hi, welcome back to ODE YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you the review of another Caveco Sport fountain pen. Actually, two, but I will make it in a one video. So, if you usually like the videos I make, please don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel. And let's go on to the review. So, first of all, I have to thank Fontoplumo, which is a store in the Netherlands, you can check their website. Uh, they, I would say, cooperate or sponsor our channel and I was sent these two pens for review. So, what you will get when you open the package is something like this. These normal um, cardboard, black cardboard box for a Caveco Sport fountain pen. You open it and the pen will be inside. I don't have mine there. I have them here on this rickshaw uh, pouch that Fontoplumo sent me also. And inside I have two pens. It is here and the pen that I'm showing to you is the Caveco Sport Coral by Fontoplumo. And this is a special and limited edition, exclusive for Fontoplumo, and it is available in two variations, the gold trim one and the silver trim one. So, then they go with this case. There is a middle slot left there. There will be a pen inside, definitely, that it will be the this kind of a similar color of the pen that is a special edition that will be made very soon during to, during 2020 for the Facebook group of Caveco users and collectors. So that third pen will be also here because it will be of the same color family and also a special edition pen. And now let's take the pens out and go on to the pen description. So, I will not, I will try not to take too long to speak about this because these pens are similar to other Caveco Sport pens. Almost in everything. So, let's take this one for example. And this is the silver trimmed one or the chrome trimmed. Which means, theoretically, this is a Caveco Skyline Sport because it has the silver trim and this is the the classic sport because it has gold trim, but uh, we can say also the official name is Caveco Sport Coral by Fontoplume Special Edition with gold trim and silver trim. But in Caveco way of putting things, it one is a classic and the other is a skyline. So this pen is very similar to all other Caveco sports as usual. They have the logo there that will be chrome or gold colored there on the top of the cap then you have the Caveco Sport engraving filled with silver or gold colored and on the other side it says coral by Fontoplumo this is something that they are starting to do in their exclusive and special editions now which I think it's very nice to state it like this it is easier for collectors to know what is going around maybe you don't like that big information there but it also makes them special I prefer it that way and this is of the same color as that so it is the chrome trim on the gold trim you have the same thing but with gold color so it's basically the same pen then the, the shape of the cap is an octagonal cap. You have a cylindrical barrel that has uh, this little step down and then you have this knurled end which is quite nice to pass your fingernail and listen the noise. I'll put it next to the microphone. There, I find it very nice to do that. Then we have there made in Germany and that's it. When you uncap the pen it has threads to uncap and you will find a hourglass shape hourglass shaped section that is very comfortable to hold you have a silver a chrome 
You have a steel nib that has silver color. It has a, it is a fine nib, this one. It is available in all the other grades of Kavec nibs. And it says Kaveco there. And then it also says uh, Germany and... No. Sorry. Germany in that side of... Let me try to focus closer if I can. Try to show you this. It says there Germany. And here on this part it says since 1883. So it is the date of... Caveco Foundation. Then, on the other side, we also have the Caveco logo on the black plastic feed and these unscrews and inside you'll be able to fit a Caveco, uh, a Caveco short um, piston filler or a short international cartridge that comes included with this pen. It is the blue one that comes with it. So, this is the pen and I think it is quite nice. Now, something that I have to show you is some particularity of this pen. This pen has this guilloche or guilloche uh, pattern there, which means it has stripes, horizontal ones, and then it has some voids, and here it also has some that makes this kind of V-shape. And... It is on these, I would say, this last, th this third or fourth of the of the barrel, and it is on every other facet of the cap. So when one has the engraving, the other one does not. The pen is of a pinkish color. It is the coral color, or one kind of coral, because there are some coral that are reddish or more red, and this is it. This was just to show you the color and the characteristics. This is all about the pen, just to say this is something common to all Caveco reviews that I make and you can check them. It is a short pen, you can use it and post it, but it is a short pen, like that. If you have bigger hands, maybe you cannot. But if you post it, it posts deeply, securely, and becomes a very big pen. And just for size comparison, let me show it next to... You have seen this multiple times. I have here a Parker Centennial Dufold uh, Citrine Check and also a Lamy Safari Petrol. And you may see that this one is much shorter but then, when you come to uncap all the three pens and post the Caveco, you may say, oh, that isn't fair because you're posting Caveco and you're posting the other two. The other two are not meant to be posted, in my opinion. The Lamy posts well, but becomes too large and then very unbalanced. And the, the Parker Dufold, you can post it, but it doesn't post very securely and it becomes too back heavy. So, as you see, the Caveco becomes the biggest pen of the set. And now I will put these pens away. I've showed you the characteristics. Just the final one is that you can fill the pen as a night dropper. You put some silicone grease on the threads and it works fine if you like to do that kind of thing. If you are like me, you don't, so you, I never I drop her the Caveco Sport. Someday I will, maybe for demonstration purposes here on the channel, but it's not my favorite thing to do. And now I will point down to some other Caveco pens just to show you how these uh, fit in the rest of the Caveco Sport collection. And here we have our beautiful, in my opinion at least, Caveco tray. And let's put it here. I hope the color rendition of this camera also known as cell phone is correct because I just wanted to show you the color of the Coral Edition. So these two are the Coral Edition by Photoplumo and I want to show it next to the other things that you can find on Caveco. First thing that I want to point out is that this guilloche imprint. You see it's there. This is not that common and you may 
think why has this the, this kind of imprint in this pen. There are several Caveco sport pens that have this same imprint. Some are recent pens, some are a little bit older from maybe the 90s. They are not so common today. Today you can find easily uh, the black version of this pen, the class black, classic sport black with the guilloche imprint. And another version that was made was this one. And this is the Burgundy. This was an exclusive edition for Spain. This is the Burgundy that also has the same guilloche. But you can find other, more, other older Caveco pens. It has some dust here. You can see other older Caveco pens with the same kind of imprint, like the older Caveco pens, I think from the 90s, that were branded Caveco by Diplomat, that also have the same kind of guilloche a pattern. At least the, the black and the blue. So this is something that was common and it's, I cannot say it is common. It, it happened before, but it is not that common. You don't find many of those, so you may find this strange. But if you go back, a long way back, I would say to the 1920s, 30s, I'm not completely sure, I have to investigate it better. You have here a very vintage, I don't know if this is a, a term, a very vintage Caveco Sport and you may see it has the same pattern engraved on the cap, which I find to be very, very special to see. It is nice to see that the brand still has the same kind of pattern. The difference is that they have this pattern in every facet. Here you see it in every other facet. Then you have it also on the barrel. And this is harder to show because of the light, but you have the same kind of engraving in both pens. Now just to show off, if you want to see, this is a real vintage Caveco Sport. A very nice one, posts well, not so deeply. And you have here a nice pen. Okay, now uh, this is just showing off. And I think this is so nice. Sorry for that. Now, I want to show you the color comparison of this pen with the other ones. I explained the, the variations, the, the gold and silver ones, the pattern, and let's go for the color. So these two are the Coral by Fontoplumo. So, we may ask, let me put this one, this is the classic sport red, so this one is a true red pen and I guess you all know this one for the regular lineup, for the current lineup of the Caveco Sport. Here you have the Skyline Fox and you may see it is much darker, it is a like a, a, a brick orange color and not this kind of uh, pinkish. So this is not quite the color. And this one is the Orangina, also a special edition for Spain, a recent one, very beautiful. This is very hard to see on camera because it is more orange and less yellow than it looks, but it, it, it's possible to see the difference, so that it is nothing in common with that one. You may think that's an orangey, pinkish, but it's different. So, I will take these out, just because they are very different. And now, let's go for the pink pants. I will leave the classic red here for comparison purposes, because I think it is a good one. And I'll put it, let's do it like this, I'll put it here. And now, let's see the comparison with the true pink pens. And I have here the one of the, two of the most easily found ones, which are the Ice Sport Pink, that is discontinued now. And you can see here inside those short Caveco piston fillers that I short Caveco piston uh, converters, sorry, that I mentioned a little, some moments ago. They have their engraved Caveco. They are very simple and they are just this slide 
cartridges so you get to see it also let's put it back and so you have here the pink version of the Caveco I Sport which I will say it's different very different and this is the Caveco Skyline Sport pink so in this sense you can see that the two real pinks that are that this one were in the collection at, the, uh, at uh, just a few time ago and this is still a current part of the collection is not right that it, this is a pinkish orangey but not this kind of color and now let's go for a special edition also a pink pen and this is a special edition for China and this is the strawberry and this Caveco Sport Strawberry you may see and I will take the other you can see the comparison with the Skyline Pink and let's take this out and you can compare this one with the Strawberry with the Pink and with the Coral and you can see that the Strawberry Pink is much more similar but it is more pinkish, less orangey and this is more orange in color and now this takes us to the final two pens that I had here to show let's put, let's put this here just to avoid stupid accidents and you have here the uh, let me see if I can remember the name this is the mandarin, the frosted sports mandarin I think and it is a color I would say it's more similar but very less saturated than that one so still not easy to uh, show and you have here and this is the this is the other fruit and can I remember it this is the pitaya sorry the blush pitaya color it came to me it is more pinkish so it is not comparable also and this one is the most comparable so if I had to describe a color that is more on those I would say it is a mixture of the mandarin with the strawberry two fruits going towards the skyline fox so this is how I would describe the color and I know this video is going to be huge because I'm spending some time talking about this color and all the variations but if you are Caveco nuts like me you may find interesting if you don't sorry about another long Caveco sport video and now this is done let's go for the writing sample and here we are for our review I will review only this one which is the the gold trim one because they are the same pen with the same nib they have both fine nibs and I've, I think this video will be so long that we don't really need to see both same pen, same color with ink on it, in it. So I inked this pen with this ink. This is the KWZ and the color is the Monarch. It is inspired in the uh, American Monarch pen, uh, sorry, not pen, butterfly. And this was an exclusive from Fontoplumo because Fontoplumo has, has a preference I would say for orange stuff or coral stuff and now let's see how the, the pen performs on paper and this is the Caveco coral by Fontoplumo if we have to describe it in Caveco language, I would say it is a Caveco classic sport. This one, the other is a Skyline sport, as I told you. Skyline sport guilloche coral. And it has a fine nib, the other one also. This ink is more orange, it's not, it is a very deep and dark orange, almost going towards brown. So this is not a color that goes with this pen, it's not a match, it's just something that I felt like to do, not uh, an ink match. So the ink is the KWC Monarch 
also an exclusive for Fontoplumo. And the paper is the usual Rodia, because it's French, Rodia, or Rodia dot pad. This is always what I'm using in these reviews, as far as I can get stock here in Portugal. Now, you saw me writing these, and you can see that this pen writes in a lovely way. It skipped there, but it's not the pen's fault, it's me that rotated it a little bit. So, this pen writes really, really well. The nib is performing very well, it puts a, a very good amount of ink on paper, as you may see. Uh, it is quite wet for a fine nib. I would say that the Caveco nibs are getting very, very consistent. I used to like Caveco sport nibs for a while now, but I, sometimes they were not exactly the same. There were some medium that were more on the fine side and were fine uh, nibs that were more on the medium side, and there sometimes were F nibs that were drier and F nibs that were much wetter. And I have examples of all of them. I've never had, never had a bad experience with Caveco nibs, but they had some variation. I would say that recently they are more consistent and they write beautifully. And you may see that if you force them, you can have some line variation, but it's not really a flex pen at all. So don't try to make these like uh, write like a very vintage pen that it was meant to write like that. It will not deliver and with you, uh, you will ruin the nib. But you can get some and the nib keeps up even with fast writing. So this is a very good pen to carry on your pocket. It is made to be a pocket pen, it is very resistant to plastic, it is very good, I never had one break on me, so why not go for this? And this one is a special edition, so when it will run out, it will be out of stock and you will not be able to get more, so think about that if you like Avex Sports. About the reverse writing, you can do it, it's much finer, it is it gets drier and it gets, listen, awfully scratchy. So, forget about reverse writing. This is something that I see that Caveco nibs are not consistent at all, is in reverse writing, but I don't really care about reverse writing. Why would I write this way? It's, it sounds very wrong to me and it is very scratchy, very unpleasant. So, this is all about the pen. I hope you like this. It, it looks nice. It has a very bright color, a pinkish one. So, there are people that may like this kind of color, people that may not like it. Very understandable. It used to be seen by some people. The, the pink was seen like a, a more feminine color, but I seen each time more men going for this kind of color, so I think we all can go for the color we want and sometimes it, I would say it is very stylish to be in a work meeting and take out a pen that will stand out like this to write with them. If you're proud of what you're doing, sometimes it feels nice to be to, to, to be very proud on your pens, on, on the colors that you use, because you just love them. So, this is all for today. I have to thank Frank from Fontoplumo for sending me these two very interesting pens. They are available at their website, both versions, in various nib widths. So, if you want, check them and see if you want to, gra to grab one of these pens. And I have to thank you all for watching my videos, for keeping following me with these very, very long ramblings about Kavek bands. This is all for today. I hope you like this. I hope this is useful. Please leave your comments below and talk to me about Kavek because I love it. 
see you next time bye